small container, but let's get a scoop of this. So you can see in the 64 ounce container here, this is already very dark. This is a, those two scoops are very concentrated. So you can kind of see how dark and rich that is. It's kind of sticking to the stir stick. So this particular seaweed is high concentration and is designed to mix with water. There's other types you can just add directly to the uh, soil, which I also recommend. This stuff is a very high quality product though right here. Good for seedlings, new sprouts, cuttings, transplanting. What's great about it is it's high in uh, potassium. See the 16 right there? That is potash. You got nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. These are the three main nutrients that plants need. NPK. The K is the potassium 16. It's super high in potash. Not all seaweed fertilizers will be the same. Some will have different ratios. This particular one is very high in potassium. So make sure you read the label before you buy it. In organic gardening, you're gonna definitely want to use this. And it's available worldwide. Everybody's near an ocean, or not everyone is, but we're surrounded by oceans that have seaweed. So it's a great resource. Okay, let's go ahead and put some of this on my plants. You can see how, just two scoops of that stuff, how dark that is. That's amazing, it's very rich. So I made it probably too, even too thick, but you can't really overdo it or burn your plants with this. Let's just go walk over. I'll put a link in the description too where you can get this stuff. Some specialty grow stores might have it, or I'll, I'll leave a link, an Amazon link. Usually pre pretty good prices on Amazon, so. All right, let's walk over here. I got my uh, little sprouted carrots. Let's go ahead and give, give these some Look how rich that color is. That is gonna be really good. These plants are gonna love it. These are really small seeds over here. Don't need much. Again, I probably made this stuff too concentrated. Right down there is actually a mandarin tree. I just put, uh, not a tree, but it's a seed from a mandarin. And I just put some of this seaweed Let's see how it likes that seaweed. It's actually in a shot glass. And I'll let you know how they react to this. This is a very strong mixture. Let's go through here. These, these are also carrots. All right, let's get a little more on this one since it's, these are a little bigger. A little uh, more grown carrots. All right, so these things are soaked with the, with the uh, seaweed. We got more of this. Let's go and water some other plants with it. Could put some around this peach tree here. This peach tree, I'm gonna give it a lot because it's going, it's feeding right now and growing a lot of peaches, so it's gonna to wanna to have plenty of uh, potassium. I just gave it the rest of that. I'm gonna go make another batch of the same stuff. That was 64 ounces, so. 
I have a lot of other trees and plants in my garden here that I need to uh, go ahead and fertilize this with. Make sure you're, you're doing this, adding this to your garden. This is, uh, remember, the potash, the potassium has to be in there and the seaweed is an excellent source. Okay, let's go make another batch. I'm gonna water some other plants too. So this will go to the uh, my front yard garden where I have some root vegetables, carrots, radishes. A lot of people don't uh, realize that they also need, root vegetables do need a lot of potassium to grow big and uh, maximize your potential of your, your garden, organic garden here. And there's not a lot of sources of organic uh, potassium, potash. You can get it from wood ash, but it can change the pH. The ashes can change the pH, and, and also a lot of people can burn, you know, burn a fire if you're living in an urban area. You're not really allowed to burn wood always, so it's not something, you know, if you're living, living in an urban environment that it's going to be that easy, easy to do. So this is why seaweed is so, so good here for your organic gardening. And that's what we do on this channel. Uh, growing organic is growing best, healthiest, most nutritious food available. So again, this is going to the front yard. Let's go out, walk out over there and to the front yard. Here we go. We are at my garden now. It's in the middle of the day. It's really hot. Let's see all the carrots. This, I'm just going to go ahead and pour this. Okay, right here we got some radishes. You can see right down in here. Radishes are root vegetables. I'm not too concerned about the lettuce. These are all my lettuces. They're probably not going to be needing as much. Pour a little bit on the every. Here's a radish. It's a root vegetable. It's going to want its potassium. So I'm going to go around and fertilize all these carrots. You can see this stuff lasts forever. This is just a small eight ounce container, but it's very affordable if considering it's saying it can do 396 gallons of, of water. I guess that's much more diluted. I'm, I'm going very concentrated. I, I like more the better, I think. But it is uh, gets pricey if you're gonna just start dumping this in your soil. This would be uh, expensive. One. Okay, so we got another one here. Two scoops again. This is, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. It's probably about a tablespoon, maybe less, in 64 ounces. This one is from Canada, this, this actual seaweed. It's a very high quality, comes from a clean source of ocean water where it's not polluted. So you want to make sure the water, you know, the where you're getting your seaweed is not in a polluted area. So this little container will last you a while if you don't have a huge garden, but like I do, you know, you're growing just uh, enough for one or two people uh, or a family. This this little container uh, will last a good amount of time. So I'm making it way, way more diluted or less diluted than what they're recommending on the, on the container here. It says it's good for seeds, seed bed preparation, transplanting. Just amazing product, so. Soluble just means it's it's gonna when it mixes with water it dissolves. That's kind of what you want if you're gonna be doing this technique. Alright, let's take it to the front and we will finish off watering the papaya tree. And it just, oh, by the way, this stuff smells really good. I'd almost drink it. It almost just uh, smells like uh, miso soup, which basically, it, miso soup is basically seaweed. Don't take my word for it, but you could probably drink this and it's probably not bad for you, but then again, don't do it just because I said so. But I like the smell of this. It actually smells really good. It smells good usually 
it is good. That's kind of like the rule of thumb for the most part. All right, let's go to the front. You can also make this into a foliar spray too, so you can put it in a spray bottle and spray it, but I'd probably dilute it a little more. This is pretty thick. So I have my avocado tree, my papaya tree, orange tree, apple tree, peach tree, everything is gonna be getting the same 64 ounces. Yeah, you could probably do this, I would say, every couple months, or every four months as a, depending on what you're growing, if, you're, if it's something that's taking up a lot of potassium, a lot of, uh, like a root vegetable or, uh, like potatoes, potatoes like a lot of potassium. You'll probably give them a little, obviously more. So you research what plant you're growing, and um, but in general, every single plant is gonna like this. Nothing's gonna react badly to, to seaweed. All right, let's go and take this over to another tree over here. There's my avocado tree. Uh, let's see, let's, we'll do this uh, apple. Since you got apples on the tree blooming right now, this is a good time to go ahead and let's just soak this whole area right around the tree. It's great, perfect. So you can see these are blooming right now. So this is a good time to make sure you're you're getting all the nutrients to the plants that you need. Okay, last thing is to just kind of sprinkle that down. It was pretty heavy dilution, so I'm just lightly spraying this down to kind of let it soak through the uh, ground cover down to the roots. So I'll probably put like a equal amount of water like that over the top. That'll guarantee that it's gonna soak down same thing here, I just watered these one. This is the uh, apple tree. I just gave this one the seaweed fertilizer. So I'm just kind of lightly washing that down, making sure that's gonna soak through the ground cover. They have like two inches of these, of these leaves here. So this whole process you might wanna do, uh, I'd say you could do it every few months. That's a really good feeding right there. These plants are gonna be loving this. This is the uh, orange tree. So everything's got the same uh, two tablespoons. And it's March right now, so this is a good time because a lot of plants are gonna be growing and uh, wanting the food. So I got this, this is the avocado. Again, just soaking it, soaking it down real good. Spend a couple minutes until you're satisfied that that the stuff that you poured in there is completely soaking down into the roots. So you can see how long I'm doing it for. All right, that's about it. That should do it. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button, comment below. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.